sorry, I'm out of breath. I just sprinted just up here. Just ran here. Yeah, I've got an, a, a, such a respect for you guys doing all the stunts. <laughs> I'm sweating and I'm just sitting down. It's horrible. Oh my gosh. We were just in Mexico City and I didn't like, I wasn't really acknowledging the altitude, but just mm. walking up a like flight of stairs, was I was so like hard. a wounded wildebeest at the end of it. I was like, <laughs> so well, it's good that you're in London where it's cold and rainy and horrible yes, yes. all the time. It's worked out so well oh, for you. Oh, it's great. No, it feels like home. I am going to say, birds of prey. To say I loved it would be an understatement. Oh, thank like, you. And I'm not just saying it because I've seen the film. I know you two could beat me up. <laughs> yeah. like, I actually loved it. It was so much fun. It was so colourful. It was funny. It's great. Loved it. Thanks. And in this film, obviously, there's no Batman. There's no Joker. It's just this awesome girl gang. So how does it feel to like really break the mould of the superhero genre and just lead with this female ensemble? I think we're just giving people something they haven't had yet. I think uh, there's obviously a huge amount of comic book films coming out mm. constantly and, and we've seen a lot of different versions of Gotham but we haven't seen Gotham like this before and we certainly haven't seen a comic book film with a female ensemble um, at the helm and a lot of female, you know, energy behind the camera too and I think it just gives you a different, fresh experience. Also you're being told a story through Harley Quinn's eyes so the world is coloured by that sort of craziness yeah. um, which again just makes it a bit more raw and funny and weird. I love like how it went backwards and forwards, like you could really yeah. just see she's this good, is Harley's. She's not a reliable storyteller, she's oh, no, gonna I jump won't. around and forget to introduce you to people, yeah, yeah. There's no way i go for a drink with her at <laughs> yeah, the time. No, like, no. She would be the worst mate. She would, yeah, absolutely. In this film, I want to talk about something that's quite sensitive. Harley is now single. I know, I know, sorry if you're watching okay. this, Harley. No, she's fine with she's, it, she she's is. Good. But I hear there is now a new Joker, Oscar-nominated Joaquin Phoenix Joker. Yes. Could you ever see those two possibly getting together in the future? I think they exist in two very different worlds, two very different, mm. like Todd Phillips' Gotham and, and this Gotham, very different. I, I don't know how you'd bridge that gap. They wouldn't get on. I mean, she's too wild, he's too getting in fridges and being a bit too <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> upset with the world. They would not get on all right. She would just be, she'd, God, she'd drive him insane. She'd be on the other outside of the fridge like, here. Yeah, come out. <laughs> Jay, Putin, what you doing? <laughs> and I just got He's like, I just need impression. a minute. I'm going through a lot of <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> David Ayer, the director of Suicide Squad, he's been so supportive of this film. I've seen him post about it on his Instagram story or all over Twitter. He reminds me of, you know, Amy Powler in Mean Girls where she's watching them dancing on stage with the video camera. These ones. That one. That's how I imagine David watching you guys. Is he... That is the best if you knew... Do you know David? Oh, no. To, to imagine him doing the is uh, the, the greatest image I've ever I mean, yeah, I've seen, I've seen interviews of him online and I can't imagine it. And don't tell him I said this, please. That's so funny. But has he, has he reached out to you guys and like, has he spoken about the film to you? No, I, I haven't actually talked to him. I mean, I've talked to him since we've shot the film. I just say it hasn't been in the last couple of months though. I know that he put so much into the first Suicide Squad film and building out this world and, you know, Harley popped out of his brain. I mean, obviously the comics, but also the iteration that I kind of embodied popped out of his brain. So I'm sure he feels, you know, a closeness to it. Oh, nice. Watching this film, there's one thing I take away. And if you abbreviate Birds of Prey, you get bop. And that's all the soundtrack is filled with bops. Just bops. Like, the yeah. music Street in it is unbelievable. Bops. I'm talking Normani, Halsey, like Doja Cat. Mm -hmm. I see you guys have like met a few of them. Who is the most fun to be around out of all of them? They're really fun. Yeah. They're, I mean, they're all wicked and incredible artists, obviously, but I think they all kind of have the feel and the spirit of this yeah. film. You know, they're like, they're like badass women. Mm. They're unapologetic. Yes. I mean, I'm, yeah, like I remember meeting Halsey ages ago and I was like, God, you, you remind me of Harley in a lot of ways. Oh, oh. Like, yeah, she's, I think all of them kind of really just embody the spirit of this unapologetic, yeah. powerful woman. Yeah. It works. And I'm going to say thank you very much. Love the film. I'm going to go commit some crimes so I can be Great. part of your team now. Do Perfect. it, do so, it. Yes, yeah. that's a prerequisite. Get yeah. Yeah. No big no, deal. I've got the baseball bat outside. Perfect. So see you later. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bye.